Welcome back YouTubers. This is going to be a review of the Transformers Earthrise figure Rung from the War for Cybertron trilogy. Now Rung here is unique. Normally I don't pick up the MicroMaster ones like this. Ever since Transformers Armada I've tried to avoid the mini cons simply because I don't think that the small size and scale leads to well constructed figures. This one's an okay one. Unfortunately, he's got the stick man joints where his legs and arms are single pieces. No posability at all, I'm afraid. He's pretty static. His transformation is also pretty simple. Clip the legs together, fold up this little backpack section, and plug his arms into the two sockets you see there. Then you attach these two little effect parts. And he's supposed to be some sort of scanner, but in all honesty, if anyone has read the Lost Light and More Than Meets the Eye comic, you know that it's actually a tool used for fusing together the photonic crystals that are used to store transformer sparks which Rung also produces when he's not in this mode. This mode is effectively a tool. It's used for fusing them together. Rung was capable of creating the matrix of leadership because that the crystals create because he is in fact Primus, the original god of the Transformers. Though in the IDW comic run, he was simply the very first Transformer. He has one that's like Model 1 million, but everyone misreads it because it's actually Model 1. The other numbers are zeros in front of it. He was affected by a weapon that erases memory, causing information creep. Basically, it's like when you get older, your memories get less clear. Rung was affected by it, and everyone forgets about him. But basically, this tool mode is for fusing together those matrix of leadership. I'm not sure what it would be in the Earthrise, i.e. War for Cybertron series, but I got him mainly because of my fondness for the More Than Meets the Eye and Lost Light comics. But you see him attached to the forearm here on Blue Streak. You can also attach it in the hand, but I just think it looks better if it's attached to the forearm. It can be used more like a welding tool. This mode seems a little more cumbersome, but that's just my opinion. But that's wrong for you. He's not a terribly big Transformer, but he's worth getting even if only because you're trying to create a set of Lost Light bots. I believe it's his only version of the toy. He's never really had one before. But anyway, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!